Hi everyone, Rick here with Rick's 135th scale models with part two of this modification of a Ravel 135th scale Martyr 1A5, making it a Martyr 1A5A1 by adding a perfect scale model bow air conditioner to the backside and then taking the model and weathering it, grubbing it up, adding camo netting and equipment on the outside. So let's start the process of Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start the weathering process. I'll be using all these products. Initially, I'll be using a uh, wash made from some Model Master uh, tan, these grays, and uh, a little bit of this road grime, kind of a, they call it rail brown for trains, but it's a real good color to use. And I'll be using this enamel thinner to kind of blend these down and wash them down a little bit to make them work a lot better for the wash and then after that I'll be using chalks to kind of blend everything together so I'm going to start that process now. Okay, so at this point, um, the vehicle itself is completed, and now I need to do the camo netting that would be draped all over the vehicle. Now, the Germans are pretty creative in how they do this. Um, I've got pictures of, obviously, military-made camo netting. I have pictures of um, homemade stuff. It looks like they made out of cloth, and then they've got the notorious branches and trees tied all over the vehicle. I even have pictures of them using wood pallets, making it look like a stack of wood, um, especially the martyr. So what I was going to do is uh, make the camo netting, and I see a lot of times they'll have canvas, it looks like material tied to it in different locations to kind of break up the silhouette of the vehicle. And then in the front of the vehicle, they'll always have uh, some kind of a piece of canvas or similar material hanging in front, and usually pretty torn up on the bottom and some stains. And that is to break up the silhouette so that when the vehicle's coming down the road, it, you don't see underneath it and obvious realize it's a uh, armored vehicle or something along those lines. So what I did is I took a paper towel and just kind of playing around, figuring out how I was going to do this. Um, 
took my acrylic paint, watered it down a lot, and then just basically saturated the paper towel and different different patterns, uh, different color schemes to create multiple uh, layers. And then uh, take this, crumple it all up, and then cut it in long strips, and I end up with these. And I did this in this pattern, and then I took and did it in uh, more of a green with dark blotches. And I know there's um, some of the material pattern there, but a lot of that's going to uh, not be visible when it's cut up, and actually that'll give it some character, which is kind of what I was looking for. Uh, the other thing I did is I took a piece of cheesecloth, uh, which comes white, and unraveled it, kind of laid it out on a piece of cardboard, wrapped it real tight, and then painted it, uh, same concept of uh, taking the acrylic paint, watering it down quite a bit so it would soak in real good, and then uh, doused it down real good with the airbrush, flipped it over, and painted it a tan. First I painted it black, and it just made it look black. Well, when I did the tan, it broke the pattern up and gave it the look I want. So the next part after doing all this, what I'm going to do is take this and cut it down and make it look torn up a little bit and then uh, drape it around the vehicle as you, when you look at the pictures you'll see in it. The paint makes it stiffer so it actually will hang the way I want, cutting it along the lines. Um, usually when you look at these things, they're pretty torn up um, and then you can kind of see the ropes inside of them and this will be the perfect effect. And then I'll take the... Uh, my strips of cloth, which are the paper towels, and come around and uh, kind of glue them and crumple them a little bit and create the look of that pattern uh, that I'm looking for. The other thing I'm going to be doing is um, doing a wrap on the barrel, which you'll see a lot of. They'll, they'll have that wrapped up and uh, tied in such a way to where it doesn't obviously look like a barrel. And then in playing around, I made it perfectly, so I'm not going to redo it. But the piece that hangs in the front, which would be different ways you see it tied up, but most of the pictures I'll see, it's just basically hanging down here like this. And then the uh, camo netting will be draped over it a little bit, and that gives you your break up, and then it's usually dirty. So it's pretty much exactly how I want it. So my intentions aren't to... Uh, recreate again for video. Um, I got it the first time, but I was very, very happy with that. Um, after all this is done, then I'm going to be putting some different equipment hanging on the outside of the vehicle. Um, like I said, showing it actually being deployed in the field. Um, one of the things I do notice in almost all the pictures um, the Germans do usually keep their insignia showing. Um, sometimes they don't, but in most of the pictures you'll see it showing. I'm going to do that. The one thing I'm not going to do is a lot of times they have uh, either blue or red markings. Or I'm assuming that indicates which force they are in exercises. I'm not looking for that effect. I'm looking for more of a realistic deployment uh, type exercise. So that's where I'm at. Um, and then the last thing I'll be doing is just taking the headlights, and uh, you'll always see those. Um, covered up the lens itself covered up in like usually a canvas or they've taken green tape I'm going to do the canvas technique so that's the next process we're going into
So this is going to be the completed weathered and uh, detailed model. You look at the uh, pieces of equipment that I've tied to the side, such as the uh, stretcher, different uh, types of bags and that are here, the camouflage netting with the canvas tied to it, um, the headlights covered up, the uh, silhouette covered up in the front, um, looking at the overall detailing of the vehicle, dusty, dirty a little bit, uh, been driving down the road, uh, barrels camouflaged, different things to break it up on top of that uh, some more equipment. One of the things I've always seen on all the uh, Bundeswehr vehicles in the field is they'll have these wood crates for ammunition and different supplies. So I've got those. I had those um, that I've had for a while so I added those to the vehicle along with the more camouflage netting uh, detailing the overall dust here between chalk uh, using enamel uh, washes and uh, acrylic uh, and kind of a wash type watered down to create the dust look. One of the other things, um, if you look at a lot of the vehicles, especially in Afghanistan and that, is you'll always see the little water bottle upside down here on uh, either the front on one of the winch, uh, turn signals or uh, rear view mirrors or usually on the back. Uh, what that is is they put the uh, glow sticks for night vision inside so that they can uh, see each other and that in the dark and that's what that I've I've uh, done here uh, once again the uh, air conditioner unit with the hosing and all that built in all the uh, modifications etc there um, overall like I said dusty dirty on the back a little bit of the uh, soot coming out here and the intake vents have a lot of dust build up from uh, dust being sucked in there um, along with this intake vent here, part of the air conditioning unit. Uh, like I said, I've got the uh, gurney tied down, the bags, different items like that. Um, pretty simple technique. There's a, like I said before, there's a couple different ways they go about doing this. I went with this route. I'm real uh, happy with the results. Uh, pretty straightforward and simple. I'm going to be doing a, another video a little more detailed on uh, making all this. Um, so that you can add it to a vehicle, whatever you want to do. Uh, but this is the overall finished product. I'm, like I said, real pleased with it. Uh, please reach out to me with any comments, questions. Um, and please like and subscribe. Take care and everybody happy modeling. Bye-bye.